Boris Johnson has nowhere left to hide where Brexit is concerned, and he will never be forgiven if he sells out the people who fought tooth and nail to take the UK out of the EU, Rupert Lowe has said. The former Brexit party MEP issued his warning to the Prime Minister with talks over a future trade deal hanging in the balance and with an agreement appearing unlikely without compromises likely to be unacceptable to hardline Brexiteers. Mr. Lowe, a persistent critic of Mr. Johnson's approach since becoming Prime Minister, tweeted, For all the bluster and noise, there is nowhere left for Boris to hide. If he thinks he can sell us out and all will be forgiven, he could not be more wrong. Brexiteers made him Prime Minister, he should remember that. Despite EU negotiator Michel Barnier and UK counterpart Lord David Frost working flat out in a bid to thrash out an agreement, time is now perilously short, with the transition period coming to an end on December 31st. Significant differences remain in three key areas, post-Brexit fishing rights, the EU's insistence on the UK adhering to regulations aimed at ensuring a level playing field, and the future role of the European Court of Justice ECJ. Speaking to Express last month, Mr Lowe urged Mr Johnson to stop telling porkies and admit his vision of Brexit did not measure up to that envisioned by purists such as himself. He added, I think the key question is Boris has pledged so many times on all aspects of Brexit, that basically, we're going to be taking back all our sovereign rights. But at the end of the day like everything in Boris' life, he appears to be able to get away with telling porkies. He gets away with it, he was completely wrong with the border down the Irish Sea, he was completely wrong and just about everything. He has said things in the past that he clearly has not fulfilled. Mr Lowe added, what he should have done if he was smart and we did tell him this, the Brexit party made this quite clear to him, is he should never have signed the withdrawal agreement, the political agreement and the Northern Ireland protocol. He should never, ever have accepted that once he won the election. And he had between December 12, when he was elected with an 80-seat majority and I think it was January 23 or 24, a full six or seven weeks, when he could have said to the Europeans I am signing nothing, I am not going to sign these documents unless you radically change them. Then he would not be accused of breaching treaties and things he is now being accused of. But I do not think he has a command of the details, that is the problem.